Hello, my wonderful friend, Sally the Seeker here. And a bigger hello to my Sarah Boone peeps, because we know how this trial, when it ever gets going, is going to be something. And we'll tell the others, we told you so. We told you it was going to be some sort of circus. Anyhow, I wanted to share with you Sarah's latest letter. It is not addressed to all of us this time. It is just to the judge. And it's actually shorter. And um, she's not, you know, slinging accusations at the judge, which I think is a smart move. But hey. Already all the things she's done is in writing. But neither here nor there, let's get on with, let's see what Sarah has to say this time. Honorable Judge Wayne C. Wooten, please see the included letter I received from my investigator communicating with me to provide an update on why we have been unable to meet since our last uneventful meeting with my attorney, Frank Bankowitz, on May 18th, 2023. So I guess she's bringing in some some people to vouch for her, I guess, um, her inability to get in contact with him and him, Mr. Bankowitz, to respond to her. My investigator also has not been able to make contact in attempts to move forward and produce very much needed and overdue progress in my case. I'm going to go ahead and just move this up while I've got it. Okay. I, as Mr. Benkowitz's client, cannot communicate, cannot communicate with him via phone due to him still not activating one of two numbers he's given that do not work and he keeps giving me different reasons why each time I ask to keep trying. This has been ongoing for 13 months and counting. By not activating, he is actively hindering progress, compiling even greater amounts of carryover and in the meantime, information for review, where if we do eventually meet in person, if we do eventually meet in person, last time to date was 77 days prior to that 98 days and 147 days prior to that date. With the aforementioned being said, Judge Wayne C. Wooten, would you please be gracious enough to communicate with Mr. Bankowitz to supply, go ahead and move this up, to supply my information my investigator needs with him, and we can be working in the meantime until he is able to visit with me. Sorry, I may not have this lined up quite right, but hopefully you can hear me. Okay. okay, our meetings with him, and we can be working in the meantime until he is able to visit with me. His client of over a year now, adding to the soon to be four years I have been here already. Please see previous letter regarding all six of my attorneys. Mm. I think we went over that one. I always call it her ex-husbands. But my innumerable attempts have been completely unsuccessful in any form of communication with Mr. Bankowitz via phone, letters, email, and voicemails attempted by an outside source. I wonder if she got her ex-husband to do it. Maybe one of her fans did it. I don't know. Okay. What else can I do, Your Honor? It seems my only hope is for a court date, which I am included in, where my attorney's attendance is mandatory, and I can vie for his attention during the minute minutes beforehand while in the courtroom. I'm sure all 
the allowed live cameras would provide footage of me doing so every time. Oh, my. I don't want to waste any more time and catch up in the courtroom is unfair and ridiculous. When can we have a real meeting? Please enable progress, Judge Wayne C. Wooten. Not hinder. Justice system means we have to work together. I've got the whole world incorrectly against me already. As stated by my investigator, we are at a loss without communication in any form with Mr. Bankowitz. Thank you for your invaluable time. I am grateful for your ethical awareness, fairness, understanding, and perspective. Activate the inactivity. Activate the inactivity, please. Again, thank you. Actively seeking success in anything. Sarah Boone. Well, oh, Sarah. Well, the things that I've said before, nothing's really changed about how I feel. Um, but, yes, she does. She does deserve to probably have had more meetings with Mr. Bankowitz than what she's had. Um, I agree with all that. I think that probably, you know, that he has been, but I don't think he really wanted to do it to begin with. That doesn't mean he still shouldn't give her the attention she deserves, but I have to believe, I don't know, maybe he has other cases too. And, um, but, um, and to be fair, I'm not saying all of this can be attributed to it, but they, it is taking more time, as Mr. Bankowitz stated, to get an expert person, you know, to go with the, the one thing that could possibly save her is the battered spouse defense. So that is taking more time. So, um... So, you know, as far as the other attorneys, well, well, we don't know about all that. I mean, you know, she kind of, she didn't seem pleased with a few of them. So, you know, yes, I do um, believe that she should have a fair trial and fair representation, all that. But for the most part, I guess, and this is just my opinion, you know, y'all are entitled to yours. I don't have a lot of sympathy for her. I don't know what you, I mean, I think it's just probably if if the if the dude, if the lawyer, Bankowitz would just touch base with her, that would probably make her happy. She needs to know that she's recognized. You know, she's clearly, I mean, in my opinion, a narcissist and needs a lot of attention. You know, clearly that is a problem or that is just part of her makeup. But. Um, you know, I'm thinking if maybe if he just touched base with her, I mean, because, I mean, maybe they haven't even found that expert person, so maybe there isn't much to say, but I think that's, she's, she's just one of those cases where if somebody touches base with her and relays a few things, that at least she's happy, she feels like, you know, something is going somewhere, I think. So maybe that is something Bank Bankowitz could do to, you know, I don't know, temper all this frustration that she's feeling. Yeah, that's just me, I'm guessing. But, I mean, really, I know that she says that the, the public has a, a, an opinion of her. I don't know how any of our opinions, I'm, again, I'm speaking for myself, I'll say me. If you agree, you can agree. But how our opinions are going to agree or differ much from what we've already seen. I mean, it's probably, it's clear, it's clear cut to me how George perished. I mean, she recorded herself. She provided that that um, that very important information to us exactly what happened. I mean, he's in the suitcase. You know, perhaps it started out as a game, but you hear him begging for help and for her to let him out because he can't breathe and her, you know, 
Yes, and her drunkenness. Uh, yeah, that's my name. Don't wear it up. You should probably shut the f up. And, you know, I just think you need to shut up. And all that kind of stuff, you know. We know she's... And then, of course, she went to sleep. And it wasn't intentional. And all that. But, you know, um... I don't know. Maybe she'll find a good expert. But, to me, this is just... Like I said, I understand. She deserves... She has been there for a while. I know that... COVID was not her friend because, you know, that all started right at that time. But, hey, maybe she shouldn't zip them up and record them, my mom. That's all I'm saying. So here is the letter from this person from Prison Break Investigations. That's kind of funny in itself, actually. So this is the investigator. Let me see. I'm going to get it maybe a little closer. Sorry, guys. Because I just... So, he says, Sarah, I have received your letter. I have made multiple attempts to contact your attorney, Mr. Bankowitz, since our meeting, but unfortunately, I have been unsuccessful. I'm not sure what is causing the issue. On May 22, 2023, I sent him an email requesting him to contact the jail so that I can have access to visit you and proceed with the mitigation process in person. Additionally, I sent two text messages to his phone on June 1st, 2023, and again on June 6th, 2023, but received no response. Without a letter from the attorney sent to the jail, I am unable to visit you in person at the jail. Okay. I'm at a loss until I can reestablish contact with Mr. Bankowitz. If you wish, you can write to me and I will send a letter as soon as I am able to get in touch with him again. And it looks like it's Billy. Is it Lane? I don't know. I see his writing over his uh, signature over it. Says, I think it's Billy Lane, Chief Investigator, Prison Break, Prison Break Investigations. I'm not sure what kind of... Um, company or place this is prison break investigations I guess he's helping her to get in contact with Mr. Bankowitz but I guess he is I mean I guess what she's doing is showing the judge um, that she has somebody to vouch for her that her attorney is difficult to get in touch with so I guess it'll be interesting to see what the judge does, if anything, um, you know, I don't know, but there is the latest. That is definitely a lot more brief. I'm glad that she's not, you know, you know, torpedoing accusations at the judge because I just think that's in really poor, t poor taste, um, you know, um, but I don't know. I guess we will just see what happens. But I thought that was a little interesting thing. Hopefully her, her, you know, her, her date. I know they was still kind of um, iffy, I think. They just wanted to kind of set a date. But we will, we will, we will watch with anticipation, much like Sarah. But that's all I got for you on her as far as her latest letter. Um, but I thought I would share that with you all. And I hope everyone is doing great. And if I get this out today, Saturday, I hope you'll have a wonderful weekend. Remember, be kind to everyone else. Be kind to you. And I will see you the next time.